So the recipe that I wanted to share with everyone is for our cozy um, mac and cheese bake. We make it this time every year. This is the time of year you want comfort foods. And I actually started making it when I was expecting my first child and was looking for something that would satisfy those savory cravings, but was also nutritious. So I hope you enjoy it as much as my family does. And from our family to yours, have a cozy and wonderful holiday season. Bye. Wasn't she adorable? I am so excited that I get to feature her recipe and I want to feature yours too. All you've got to do is send me the recipe that your family absolutely loves that you make and then a little video the way she did because let's be honest, the audience wants to hear from you, not me. I think it's so neat to know the story and the heart behind people's kitchens. We might not be able to have a bunch of people in our kitchen the way we used to, but we can still share the heart of our home and I'm going to do it right here on the show. So let's dive in to Amanda's recipe and Amanda's world and share a little bit of her with you. So she called this cozy mac and cheese bake. And I've got one that's almost done. We're gonna kind of work backwards like I do sometimes. That way you can see the full thing. So I made it, I've got it made right here. Don't worry, we're gonna start from scratch here in a second, but I wanna show you the topping. She uses Parmesan cheese and then in her recipe actually is wheat germ. I couldn't find that and I didn't have it. I used to in my kitchen, but I thought flaxseed would be a great substitute. Um, I'm sure that that's a more healthy substitute for breadcrumbs so you could probably use whatever you have on hand I don't know you'd have to message Amanda about it make sure we get her approval right my family happens to love Parmesan so whatever the measurement is I usually <laughs> double it let's be honest that's why we're kindred spirits and that is exactly right so I've got my <laughs> oven at 350 or 400 that way we can get that top kind of toasted mm. all right and then we're gonna start with the sauce for the mac and cheese bake now, a sauce for mac and cheese needs to be pretty velvety, and that starts by making a roux. Um, a roux is just equal parts butter and flour. So in this case, she uses whole wheat flour. Okay. Okay. And what that's going to do is you, you kind of cook those together for about a minute, mm -hmm. and it kind of makes like this paste. And what it does is then you add milk, and it makes this rich, delicious, velvety sauce. Okay. Ooh, I like that. So I'm going to try to encourage the butter and the flour to hurry it up for us, right? Because you know, we only have so long. Well, especially with mac and cheese, because listen here, I am a mac and cheese kind of sewer. You are. I am. That's you like have the some one people dish. in your family that make some awesome ones. Or, or is it you? It's me. Oh, you guys. It's me. We like, need to have your recipe. mac and cheese. So I am very excited about Amanda's mac and cheese because um, it's all about love. And you yeah, have to put so a lot of stuff into uh -huh. it. But it's all to get you to have the itis. You know the itis. You know where you can go ahead and go to sleep after you eat it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. no, wait, what did you call it? The itis. The itis. Yes. <laughs> That's when you know something's good when you get the itis. <laughs> I have to use that. I've never yes. heard it before. I like now, it. The I love it. The nutritionist in Anessa would not like you have I don't the care. Itis, it's all right. Yeah, right. The warmness don't go to in sleep after you eat. But would let you have a pillow. The heart of me. Yeah. <laughs> we'll let you do it. Especially this time of year and especially this year. Let's oh, yeah. be honest. So then I put in a cup of milk and continue to whisk. And now as that milk starts to boil, we're going to put in three different kinds of cheese. Okay, I like it. So she, how many kinds of cheese is in your mac? Five. Ooh, whoa. Oh, okay. I know. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> I find the kinds of cheese so interesting, and these are easily accessible. She uses Havarti. Ooh, nice little right. bite to that. Oh, yeah. I like this cheese a lot. It's nice to melt on sandwiches or grilled cheese. And then Gouda, mm. chopped into chunks. And so just keep stirring that. All of those cheese are good melty cheeses. And then some fresh, well, it's not fresh mozzarella. It's actually just shredded that you can, that's easy to use, easy to throw in. Okay, so we've put all that together. Make sure to use our flavor magnifier. Of course. A little bit a of little, salt. Good a little salt that. here, a little salt there. Okay, and then I love what she's done with hers because I need to give this thing a power boost. I'm not sure if it's going to melt in time, but you guys get the gist of what mm -hmm. we're doing here. So then she stirs in some broccoli, oh, and what wow. I just used was the frozen kind. Okay. Keep it easy. I mean, there's five kids in my house, so Listen. we just know when we need dinner on the table, we need it on the table. Time is money. And then she told me about <laughs> this pasta. I hadn't used this before. It's Ooh. Bonza pasta made from chickpeas. Yes. We had it this morning, uh, this morning for breakfast, right? Our, our now winning mom. Um, 23 grams of protein Ooh. in a serving. One of my really I good friends only gives her daughter that. 
Does she? And her daughter so asks much for more it. Nutritious. It's really good. A uh, good mm -hmm. amount of fiber in that stuff too. So we're gonna just dump the whole thing in. Okay. Oh yeah. This the broccoli, and then we're also gonna have a little bit of hot sauce. Amanda said she likes things spicy in her house. <laughs> you guys know me. Big red gum is my limit. So we're spice wimps <laughs> in my home. Um, but you can make it however spicy you like it. The broccoli makes me feel good about my decision. I know, isn't mm -hmm. it? You throw broccoli and mac and cheese, and it's all good. Um, but I like it. You know, you're getting your veggies, your protein, this good cheesy sauce, and then rotisserie chicken because okay. it makes weeknight meals so easy. Oh, yeah. Here's what I do with rotisserie chicken, Alexis, when I buy it, mm -hmm. I just flip over the lid and I shred it with a pair of gloves. Of but the hardest thing is not eating it. Oh, and I know. Eating the entire, I could eat the entire thing. I'm a muncher, so I get it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Me too. So we put as much of that chicken as you can get off. I think she probably had about a cup listed, okay. but we've got all the ingredients listed for you on there. And you take it and you put it in a casserole dish. Ooh. And let me, before our top burns on this mac and cheese, <laughs> let me get it out. All right. Okay. Yep, it's not yet toasted. Wasn't but, in there long enough, but but we get it. You guys get it. Oh yeah. And it, oh, it looks amazing. It smells, it smells good. Amazing. I mean, look at this, you guys. Look at this cheesy. That is deliciousness right there. Oh yeah. That is comfort in a you casserole can see dish. All the different types of cheeses. I love that. And she kind of healthified it a little bit mm -hmm. for us. She did several things. Made a, we absolutely <laughs> love being around your table, and we love your family. Thank you for sharing this recipe with us. We can't wait to feature more, you guys. So give me your recipe. Of course, from your kitchen to ours. That's